Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi mathematicians, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Math Fluency. Hey, today we're going to be going over double digit doubles. What does that mean? Hmm. That means that we're going to be working with stuff like 21 plus 21 and 34 plus 34, 52 plus 52. See how those are doubles? You know, it's like one side is the same as the other on that plus side. Okay, friends, let's get to work on our double digit doubles. First up, so you may be familiar with these base 10 blocks. So each of these strips or blocks here, there's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And of course, this is a 1. So we have 10 and 10 and 1 on each side. We can also denote this as 20, 1, because we have two 10s, which is 20, and then 1, and 20, 1. So it's 21 plus 21. But I don't want to do it this way. I want to show you a different way, because you may have younger kids, or you may be a kid yourself. And we want to look at the different strategies that you can use with blocks. Okay, let's take a look at a strategy and then model it. Okay. I want to combine these 10 blocks here into uh, a, a single area and then also have the ones in a different area. So let's take a look at this. So I'm going to have 10, which represents this one, and then 10 more, which represents this one. Notice how I'm crossing it out. And then there's 10 and 10 more, and I'm crossing it out. And I have one, two, so I'm going to say there's one and two. And cross out those. See how I combined it? I want to put it all in the same place so I can have a better understanding of what I'm working with rather than separate. So I can say this is 10. And then since you know how to count by tens using your doubles and other stuff like that, so I can say, well, there's 10 and 10 and 10. 10, but wait a minute, it looks like, wait, I have two sets of doubles. Well, if you know that 10 and 10 make 20, let's just kind of do this here, 20, and over here, 10 and 10 make 20, and then here we have 2, oh, wait a minute, there's another set of doubles, so 20 and 20 make 40. And then we count on 40, 1, 2. So that is equal to 42. So your strategy, what you're thinking in your brain and how you're putting everything together, you can put it down different ways. I showed you one way. I want you to you know, figure out your other way to notate your, your thinking onto a piece of paper. But the big thing is, is that you're working towards the answer. And however you take that, that information and put it together in your head, and you put it down on your paper. That's That can be a personal thing. Okay, next up. How many do I have here? Well, gosh, I'm not sure. For just ahead of time, let's remember it's 10, 10, 10, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They look the same, so I'm going to say there's three tens and five ones on each side. Hmm, how would I do that? Well, there's something interesting here because I can put down these tens together. So let's do that. So I can have one, two, three, and that, that's these three here. And then I can add another three. One, two, three. So there's those three. But hold on. I have one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. If we know our doubles, remember those doubles. So if I see five, and 5 as equal to 10. Hey, aren't these 10 blocks? So I can put another 10 block here. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 tens, let's count by 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. That is equal to 70. So I have 7 tens is equal to 70. Next up, we're going to do some larger uh, double digit doubles. So I have double digits, which is one, two digits, one, two digits, and they're 
they're doubles. They're, they're, uh, they look the same. So we have the same here and same there. This can get a little bit harder, but let's take a look at different strategies that you know, we can work with this out, out with. So I have 40 and 40 uh, and 3 and 3. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. 40 and 40 and 3 and 3. What do you mean, uh, Mr. Woods? Well, let's take a look at this. Let me draw a line. I'm going to say, here's 40, because I've taken it from here, so I'm going to remove that 40. And then we've already done our large doubles, so we know that 40 and 40, let's draw this, that's going to be 80, because I'm adding 40 more. I take that off. And then three and three, oh, I can do three and you know two hop, two small hops of three. But you should know that three plus three is six. So I can just do a big hop, do this. I'm adding six, so eighty plus six. You count on eighty one, eighty two, eighty three, eighty four, eighty five, eighty six. So that's going to be eighty six. Now you see how I broke down these larger numbers into something that's that's more manageable. I want you to do the same. You can do a tree. You can do an arrow line. Um, do whatever works for you. So now let's move on to the next numbers here. Whoa! 54 and 54. Oh, geez. That's a lot. Now, how, how do I do this? You know, what I would probably want to do is say, do it this way. So 54 and 54. And uh, let me get rid of this here. So the, there's a reason why I moved that 54 underneath it. Because I want to uh, you know, model this a little bit differently. I want to deconstruct these numbers. You know, if you remember that these are this is the tens column and this is the ones column. So whatever's in here is worth, you know, it, it's four ones and four ones. And this is five tens and five tens. If you remember what five tens are, or ten fives, we, we can count that. We can go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That's five tens. Hmm. So let's look, let's look at that. So that's going to be five tens, which is 50, plus four ones. And that's going to be it for each side. So there's five tens plus four ones. Now, hmm, that's a little bit easier. If you recall, here again, this is a large double. So there's zeros here for your ones. And we have five tens here and five tens here. So if you remember your, your double, so uh, five and five make 10. So there's 10 here. And that's 100 because we have that extra zero here in the in the ones column. Four and four make eight. So when we add that together, we have 100 plus eight is 108. So you see the different way I'm modeling it is is up to me or it's up to you. Figure out multiple ways to model it. Do it however you want but I want you to sit down and look at a different strategy on how to take these larger numbers and make it so that it's, it's simple and easy for you to work out. And that does it for today. Remember, math fluency replaces math anxiety. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Mr. Woods Teaches. Up next will be any two-digit numbers. So it could be something like 54 plus 33. See you next time.